talk about intercepting network traffic for Android. In the previous video, we already teach you how to use Burp Suite and intercept network traffic for a web browser. But now we want to do this, of course, on an Android device. So there are three steps to do this. First, we need to configure the proxy on the Android device. So similar to what we did Firefox, we need to configure it in the network settings on the device. Then after you do this, you will get some certificate errors. If you check the logging, the HTTP history in Burp, to get rid of those errors, we need to install the Burp port swigger root certificate on the device. To do this, first we need to export this root certificate from Burp Suite on your host. And then we need to import this certificate on the Android device. And that might differ a little bit per version. But for this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this on Android 13. Android 14 has a little a bit of different architecture regarding the system certificates we need but we will refer you to the manuals for this in the workbooks and there are some additional steps which are out of scope for this video but those steps are for example that if you are using google Chrome, there are some different measures which still cause that you get some certificate errors and also some apps have ssl pinning implemented and this also causing some errors that you cannot decrypt the traffic unless you use a specific certificate which is pinned in the app but this will be explain later. There are at least three good references for this. Documentation from Portsvigger, from Corellium and from Hectrix. And it depends on the Android version. So let's dive into the first step. So first we need to configure the proxy, what I said earlier. And as a result, you will get some errors in Burp Suite and on the device, as you can see. So let's try to do this first step on the device. Let's do this on an Android device. In this case, I'm using an Android device, part of the lab subscription on mobile hacking net. So after the device is loaded, you can click on connect and then we can download the open VPN file. Then you can just copy paste this as text and then use it in a vm.ovpn. Then we can just paste this open VPN context, sudo open VPN. And now we should be connected. And this is our IP address. So this might be good to remember already, 10.11.3.2. And the next step we can already do because we also need to transfer files is adb. So adb connect. Okay, so now we are connected to the device. And of course, we also need Burp Suite. So within Burp Suite, in my case, I can add this interface with 10.11.3.2 and then port 8080. We also need to export the certificate. So the first option, certificate in their form. Let's call it Burp CA cert .der. Next, export successfully. Now you can see this certificate is exported. And before we continue with converting and importing the certificate, let's also see if we can connect to our host from the virtual device. So it's listening on 10.11.3.2. So one basic check we can do, we can open the console and then we can do ping 10.11.3.2. So at least we know that the connection between our Android device and our host running Burp Suite works. Now first let's test if this proxy works. So we can just search something in Google or can open a web browser. So by default this is a web view browser tester. So it's a simplified version of Chrome. Let's just go to google.com. And in this case, you will probably see nothing, just a white screen. But now if we go back to the VM, then you should see at least in this event log, that there is one thing happening. Fail to negotiate a TLS session to google.com, certificate unknown. And in the network traffic, we can already see some requests. So the first request is just redirecting to HTTPS and then something fails with a certificate. So that's basically what happens. And now let's fix it. Now we can continue with the next step to push the burp certificate to the device. To do this, we need to convert it to a correct format first. So we're using OpenSSL. To convert it, pick the hash and then rename it and append it with dot zero. And then still we need to copy it from a dir format to a pem format. So with this simple script, we can do that. And now it created this file. So it's still just a certificate, but now it's in the correct format for Android. And now we can push this certificate to the device. So let's do this second step. And to verify it works, you can uh, maybe list this system, etc. security CA search directory. And then we can see our certificate is pushed to the device with the right permissions. So now I would expect that everything should work. Now if we go back to the device and we're searching for trusted credentials in the settings, then trusted credentials, and then we have system certificates. So this one is the one we just added via this script. And now the final check. 
let's go to mobile hackinglab.com and as you can see now this web browser is working and we should see the network traffic in Burp Suite. Now I can see for example all background requests from mobilehackinglab.com so this proves that we can intercept the network traffic. That was it, just try the workbooks where we will also explain you the additional step mentioned here as number 4 and hope to see you in the next video.